Beleza angry. Beleza angry. But you should not. No one should have the power, honestly, to take away something like that from people. Everyone should have the right to marry and be with who they want. Not have it altered or destroyed or frowned upon or should no one should be harassed for what they want. It's the American dream to live the American dream is to live how you want. To live with freedom. But the more you look into the America, the more you see that you have no true freedoms. Because everything is limited and nothing is truly permitted. No right or liberty is 100%. Everything has its point because somebody doesn't like it. And you always have that minority effect. No matter what you do, you will always have that minority effect. Well, unless you completely ignore the minority. Which then, it's no longer a democracy, it's a... Uh, Ah, crap. It's an, it becomes an empire, or a monarchy, or a... Ah, crap. It becomes despotism, or all these other... Or communism. It becomes where you have one party in power under one ideal. Which... Granted, is bad. Because no one person should have all that power. But at the same time, it has its benefits. Because you don't have... Jesus! No! Wall Rider! Sorry, Billy. Like, you run into crap like this. Where you have... I have... I'm, like... I, I can't see what's going on. God dang it. You run into crap where... Alright, so say... This is completely metaphorically speaking. Sam? Uh, what religion? Then? Christian? Catholic? I don't know. I don't care. One of the religions that don't allow gay marriage, okay? That are frowned, that frowned upon it. So say I was that religion now as a president. I release an executive order that states, okay, no gay marriage. Why? Why would I do that? Hmm? Let's see. If you do that, you're straining the rights of your, Ameri your fellow American people. Why do that? You're you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to power. You're supposed to go towards the betterment of the American people to allow more freedom. But the reason they do it is because because they they bring their religious views into work. See, the problem is you really. Separation of church and state is an amazing policy, but you run into an issue where you can still sneak it in there and you can't prove it. Again, President, like President Obama, could be could just hate. Hold up. Dang, dude, how are you still alive? You're not even limping after that! Perfectly okay! Anyways, but like, President Obama can do whatever he wants when it comes down to that matter. Alright, we, we, you don't have much power here. The wall rider is beating the crap out of me. So much cringe. Is it over? Wait, did the wall like did I just get possessed? Uh, 
Okay, I'm limping now. Which way is out? But along with my going even further into my political rant, you um. Wait, no, no. Don't tell me he's gonna- He killed me, didn't he? I, I'm gonna die because of the wall rider. I understand that now. He, he didn't try to possess me. He shoved his hand into my side. Probably screwed up my internal organs. So, I'm slowly dying. Come on, maybe we can make it out of here in time. Come on! We can make it. I'm just, come on, Steven. Whatever your name is, I don't know. Yeah, he can't sprint. How close is the elevator from here? I don't remember. Come on. No, come on. Get up. You can make it. Come on. No, 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 what the heck? God Himmer, you have become the host. Jesus God, what is that thing? Get it! <laughs> yeah, suck it, you bet that little butthead. So the wall rider did possess me. That's nice. That's real nice. Okay. Um, this is actually a really fun game. I liked it a lot. It did get a little less scary towards the end, but that may have been just because I was really targeted on my political rant. I'm sorry, very, very sorry about my political rant. I try to avoid doing those. It's just it, it's it's a common thing for me. I mean, when I'm sitting here talking to myself in a room, I tend to get sidetracked. Just... Oh, come on. This video's not long enough. It's like eight minutes so far. I don't know. But, um... Since we have the credits. Just... I don't know. I don't even remember where I was going with that conversation. Uh, okay, I remember now. The point I'm trying to get across with everything because I don't understand how I got from the gaming conversation to this but the point I was trying to get across with the whole gay marriage thing is that America is meant to be a country for equal rights which no one truly has it's supposed to be like Thomas Jefferson's in the Constitution states that not in the Constitution, but I just know Thomas Jefferson said that American people should be in the pursuit of, or oh, should look for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We already have life. We're struggling with liberty, and we do not have the pursuit. Everyone's lacking in the pursuit of happiness anymore now, because everyone is having the rights denied, rewritten. Or, like, you can't do anything anymore. When the Constitution was first developed, and you were arrested or jailed for something, and you called the Constitution, you could prove that your con you could prove that your constitutional rights were violated, and that you should not be in trouble. Now, something happens, and you try to say that your constitutional rights are violated, and you're ignored, and you're laughed at, because there's there's little loopholes everywhere. To get around, like, the Constitution has become, at this point, meaningless. I mean, look at it. The, con the, second con the Second Amendment of the Constitution says we have the right to bear arms, yet several states, I think seven now, have banned guns. You can't own a gun. But that's unconstitutional. Why? Certain Democrats, I believe, have, are wanting to rewrite the First Amendment. Not... Like the Constitution, uh, I think it's the 6th or 7th or 13th, I don't remember which amendment, 
states that you have the ability to add on to the Constitution. As in, you can put a new amendment in what if it's needed, but no more. You can't edit. They want to edit the First Amendment to limit the freedom of speech and limit the freedom of press. I don't know. I need to stop ranting. Need to stop ranting. Need to move to Canada. <laughs> um. Yeah, but this is Outlast. Um. This is a fun game. I liked Outlast a lot. I had a lot of good scare out of it. Um. I. <laughs> I guess I can apologize. I want to apologize again for my rant that like went over two videos, maybe three, for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm sorry if you watch all these videos so you can see the story and see my reaction. All you see is me ranting. I'm very, very sorry about that. I'll try to avoid that in my further future videos, but no promises. Um. I guess that's all there is to say right now. Ow, my hand. Um, thank you for watching. If you actually stuck around this long and listened to my rants, thank you. If you actually listened to my rants, I'd like to see what you like. If one of my friends are watching, or maybe that one random person that somehow found my videos or wa is watching, comment, please. I would like to see what you think about my views on, like I said earlier, about the whole gaming thing and how people need to be left alone, or my defending of gay marriage because again it's it should be constitutionally allowed it's a thing needs you can't stop being dicks to gay people they have rights too. let them get married stop being a dickhead about it um out my leg and then just my political rants in general if you actually listen to all of them like from this series which I kind of feel like I screwed this series because of that rant, but, um, just thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting here and listening to my rants if you got this far. Please comment your opinions. I would love to see what you guys have to say. I like a good counter-argument because, you know what, I've learned things. I'll try to argue something and then someone t argues back and I learn things out of it. In a lot of, in some cases, it even changed my point of view. I would like to see what people have to say about what I've ranted about for the past hour. But, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hi, Red, if you're actually watching this. And, um, I hope you guys have a nice day.